Hello friends, this video on natural resources part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at the role of atmosphere in climate control in more detail. As mentioned before that atmosphere maintains appropriate temperature on the earth. It is just like a blanket which protects you from cold during the winter season. Now we all know that atmosphere is nothing but it is air, mixture of gases. We know that air is a poor conductor of heat. What do I mean by poor conductor or bad conductor of heat? That means air doesn't allow heat to pass through it. It doesn't allow heat to pass through it and enter the other region. Right? So that, that way we can say that air is a poor conductor of heat. So what, how is this property of air utilized here? Now during the daytime, what happens? So during the daytime, we have the sun, we have the heat and light of the sun reaching to the earth. Now due to the presence of this atmosphere, which is a bad conductor of heat, it prevents heat from entering the earth. It prevents excess amount of heat from entering the earth. Therefore, it prevents excess increase in temperature. So obviously some amount of heat is entering because of which the days are hot on earth. But the days are not extremely hot. So if, if the temperature goes beyond like during the summer season, sometimes the temperature goes up to 45 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Celsius. And you know, we feel terrible when it is so hot. Now, if the temperature suddenly goes up to 60 degrees Celsius or 70 degrees Celsius, can you think what might happen? So living organisms might start drying up. They must, might start dying, right? So this excess increase in temperature is prevented by the presence of the atmosphere. Similarly, at night, what happens? Because air is poor conductor of it, it doesn't allow too much of heat from escaping out of the earth. Because if too much of heat will escape out from the earth, then what will happen? Then the temperature of the earth will drop drastically. Again, if the temperature is very low or the temperature is very high, the living organisms will not be able to survive. So that ways air neither allows excess of heat to enter inside the earth nor does it allow excess of heat to escape out of the earth. So that means it maintains a decent average temperature on the earth. So if you look at the average temperature on the earth, it, it, it is somewhere around 14 degrees Celsius. So that's the average temperature on the earth, which is quite decent for survival of life forms. And even in extremes, the temperature goes from minus 89 degrees Celsius. That, that is the range of temperature is minus 89 degrees Celsius to plus 57.7 degrees Celsius. So this is the range of temperature of the earth. Now, on the contrary, if we try to compare the temperature of the earth with that of the moon. So in case of moon, we see that how the temperature ranges, the temperature range is very huge. It's like minus 190 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius. So you see when it and certain regions of the moon might have temperatures as low as minus 190 degrees Celsius, whereas some other regions might be as hot as 110 degrees Celsius. So these are like two uh, extremes. So in, under such extreme conditions, it is not possible for life forms to exist. So that means atmosphere definitely helps to maintain an appropriate temperature on the earth. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.